So I really hope that I will see you all in Croatia next season. Now then, I think Croatia must be this way. Well, that was quite a long swim all the way from Mahon in Menorca here to Sibenich in Croatia, where the 52 Super Series are for the very first time. Well, we've got an absolutely epic season in prospect. We've got 12 teams racing here in Croatia. We've got nine brand new boats and new teams joining the circuit. And there's a good reason why. It's so incredible to sail a TP52. I think that uh, Monohull, if you want to sail something that is at the top, really top, top, it's like if you are driving a Formula One, no? Well, everybody, I think, has individually come up with their own solutions to the way they like to sail their boats. I think you have a look around at the deck layouts and everyone's unique. They've got their little bits and pieces, but for sure, hull volume's changed a little bit. Uh, balance of the boats has changed a little bit, and uh, the designers think that they uh, have a faster boat than they did last year. And top calibre sailors coming into the circuit, America's Cup winners like Jimmy Spithill on the Luna Rossa, Ray Davis on board the sled, and Dean Barker joining Quantum Racing. Yeah, you know, sailing with this quantum racing team is, you know, it's obviously a very good experience, having raced against them a lot in the past, so yeah, it's um, it's going to be a very, very competitive season from what we've seen already. Uh, yeah, there's some um, similarities between the America's Cup, obviously teamwork at the end of the day and, and um, learning debriefing skills, so that's what cup teams get out of this type of racing. Well, the first race of 2018, the first race ever in Croatia, gets underway in eight to nine knots of breeze. Allegra Sled and Gladiator get away nicely off the left end of the line, off the pin end, make the early gain, but it is the right which comes good. Prevetsa recognise that, get out to the right and lead around the top mark. Onda also early in the right, come round in second. Platuna right as well. Top mark, it's Prevetsa leading. Platoon in second, Azura third and Chio up in fourth. Down the first run, Prevetsa have a problem apparently with their uh, kite halyard, lose out to Platoon. So Platoon through the uh, leeward gate leading with Onda second and that's the order through to the finish line. Platoon taking first blood, winning the first race. Onda, Eduardo de Souza Ramos's team in second, Azura third and Quantum make a nice gain to finish fourth. It's a pretty good start. I mean, we had a marvelous first race with a win. Yeah, it went pretty well for us. We had a plan before the start and we stick to our plan and it worked. Well, the second race, the breeze is up a little bit more. 13, 14 knots on the start line. It does build up to 15 or 16 at times. Quantum Racing make the best start of the day. Uh, starting off the middle of the line, get out to the right early. Luna Rossa are over the start line and have to recross. The uh, right once again pays off. At the top mark, it's Quantum Racing with a nice lead over Gladiator, which are second at the top mark. Chio and Onda once again are good and up the first beat. But the breeze is moving all the time. It shifts from 260 to 290. And at the finish line, Quantum Racing win with Gladiator second and Sled in third. Every boat has uh, upped its game. You know, there's more coaches, there's more analysts, there's uh, better sailors on board. So uh, it just, level just keeps going up. You know, it's number one Grand Prix class in the world. So if you're not racing here, where else are you racing? So after two races, leaders are Quantum Racing on five points, Platoon second also on five points, and third, Onda on nine points. So there you have it from Sibinich, Croatia, the first day of 2018, done and dusted. We got away with it, uh, sun all day, now just a little bit of rain coming.